Welcome to Lifestyle Buzz Today with Orlando. Fresh, innovative, entertaining talk about topics we are all in one way or another involved with. And now, here's your host, Orlando Burgos. Well, hello, Mr. and Mrs. World. Welcome to Fun and Reality Land here. And we are all about the good things in this Super Bowl Sunday. What can I say? I, for one, lost my my uh, football mojo when my Dallas Cowboys went south. But anyway, it is an exciting time. It is something that uh, all of us look forward to, regardless of what team we are from. Um, what can I say? It is what it is. Today happens to be a very special day, too. Mike, what day is today? You're the guy that knows everything. Today is Palindrome Day. Palindrome Day. I knew you would come up with it. Yeah. It's something that will not happen ever again, I guess. Another, another hundred years. Another hundred years? Yeah. 2020. Yeah. I mean, it's funny. You know what? I, for one, I'm always looking for the different, you know? People go through life and things like this. I mean, for me, it's entertaining to talk about the fact that what we are living today a one of a kind. Huh? Yeah. With me today is Agnes Huff and it's a Robert pleasure. Ackerman. And later on, we're going to have Carly Allen sitting over there. But anyway, what do you think about that? Huh? Is it a one of a kind day? It's an absolutely one of a kind day. Always a memory. You know, and always an adventure. Those are little, a lot of people say, well, it's trivia, what the heck is that important? And those are the people that actually never look out the window. You know, people that drive around in an air conditioning car with the windows up, they don't look out, they don't see what's going on all the time. Me, I have a car that with a sort of raggedy top down all the time, and I don't miss anything. But you know what? I feel that it's entertaining to go around and just have enough good time. Who are you betting with today? Well, actually, I have a client who is based out of Kansas City, so I'm going to root for them a little bit. So I'd like to keep them as a client for a long time. <laughs> Sell out. <laughs> How about you, Robert? I'm, I'm going to root for the 49ers, although they're not my favorite team, but uh, <laughs> you've got to root for somebody. Yeah, well, you know what? Yeah, it, it comes down to the fact that, you know, being here from California, you got to root for the Niners. I mean, you know, I mean yeah, that's the only reason. That, you know, <laughs> yes. yeah, more or less the home team. What do we have? But anyway. It's going to be a great game. Are you guys planning anything in particular? I'll be going to a Super Bowl party after this taping. So, little barbecue, yeah. little beer, uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, how about and you? me too. Yes, brisket, smoked brisket, Ooh. beer, yeah. lots of fun. Yes. Yeah, we in our house. Uh, I have uh, my daughters are the ones in charge of uh, the situation. So, how about you, Mike? I will be here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring you something. Well, yeah, that's right. You, you have to work. Yeah. Well, oh. it's just that's what you get for being so popular. Anyway, the best engineer in the world. Thank you very much. He happens to be the best. I mean, there's. I couldn't do the show without him. You know, so be honest. Um, we're almost ready for no, nah, about thirty more seconds, man. Okay. All right. So anyway, uh, who's gonna win? Uh, I think the 49ers are going to win. There we go, 49ers. By a high score? Big score? Uh, maybe by one touchdown. Oh, I'm not score. placing any bets on this. <laughs> Mike? Go Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to 49ers, two touchdowns. Okay. That's, wow. that's it, man. That's where we're going to go. We'll be right back. experiencing pain, back pain, shoulder, elbow, or hand pain, pain from a sports injury. If so, schedule a visit with Dr. Michael Sheps, the leading expert in laser therapy for pain management. Call 310-873-4422 or go to drsheps.com. Experience Epic T, the breakthrough laser therapy system that Dr. Sheps developed to make you pain-free in less time. Laser therapy is a non-invasive, safe, and effective in-office procedure that penetrates deep into your skin without damaging the 
tissue. It perfectly targets areas of pain to promote fast, natural healing. Relax your muscles, ease muscle spasms, joint stiffness, and arthritis pain while increasing blood circulation. For over 25 years, Dr. Sheps has helped Olympic athletes and sports enthusiasts alike get back in the game. Schedule your visit with Dr. Sheps at his Brentwood office in California. Call 310-873-4422 or visit drsheps.com. That's drsheps.com, 310-873-4422. back and this is early with lifestyle buzz today and today we have a fantastic fantastic with a big f show because we have three people here that are going to be dazzling us with information about the museum of the the flight path Museum. museum at lax at lax and i have to tell you one thing that um as a long time pilot uh i'm ashamed i'm ashamed beyond being ashamed for the simple reason that I only found out about this uh, museum not really that long ago. And right away I went there and I go like, oh my God, the memorabilia they have. I mean, places that that just brought back something so far deep inside of me that I figure I need to be part of this. You know, this is not only the history of aviation museum is the history of people like me who have been in the aviation for a long long time with us agnes huff and you happen to be the president of the board of directors for flight path museum tell me about it tell me tell me how it got started well, I'll tell you how I got started okay. in the aviation industry, and I'm going to let Robert talk about how the museum got started. But okay. I, I started off as a flight attendant okay. back in 1976 for Pacific Southwest Airlines. Ooh. Did, we you come wearing, out of, did you come out of the overhead? Uh, <laughs> yes, we came out of the overhead <laughs> compartments that didn't lock. We had smoking on board the aircraft, and we actually sold tickets on board. Mm. And that's where I say that I got my golden handcuffs because... I was never able to really leave the industry. Even after I stopped being a flight attendant and I was in management, I ended up still having this passion for aviation. So when I got a chance to be involved with the Flight Path Museum, I was really thrilled. And so I'm delighted to now be the board president and to help take the museum and raise the visibility of it so that people like you, Orlando, aren't going to say, I didn't know it existed. Yeah, no, I, it, it, look, it's like anything else. A lot of times people lead such oh, hurried lives. The, the lifestyles today, it, it, like where I come from in Costa Rica, the whole thing is there is like you work to live. Although today is like the American way where we live to work. And we, we, overlook many things that's one of the reasons why i was talking to you about the the, the date today something simple yes but it's an interesting something to talk about Mm -hmm. you know it's actually something that starts a conversation and leads to other things today a lot of people just i don't know what it is that they, they, they feel shut out of actually being able to go to somebody and say Hi, my name is such and such. It's because they're on devices all the time, and we've lost that personal touch where we stand in line at the supermarket, and everybody just stands there instead of making conversation. We, we spend most of our time in lines waiting for something. Let me go to Robert here, Robert Ackerman. Mm. How did you get started with the museum? Well, I grew up in Westchester, which is home to L.A. International mm. Airport, and uh, so you can't help but be fascinated by the airplanes landing when you can see them from the, the playground of your elementary school. And uh, so I've had a lifelong interest in, in commercial aviation and, and in the airport. And, um, and when Flight Path came around, I got interested in that as well. Um, and you were asking about the, the origins of a Flight Path. And it really was the brainchild of one of our, um, I'll call social entrepreneurs in our community, a man named Maury Plotkin. Okay. And uh, he had been president of the Chamber of Commerce, and he came to a realization that, you know, 
Los Angeles here is the, the center of, of the aerospace universe, and there's no museum here at the airport or in the area uh, to capture the, the history of uh, commercial aviation and, and, and aerospace and space travel in, in, in the area, and there should be some organization that does that. Yeah. And so he was the, the founding chairman of what is now Flight Path Learning Center and Museum in 1995. And basically there's two parts to our organization. There's the Flight Path. It's an aviation walk of fame along Sepulveda Boulevard just north of the airport. Mm -hmm. and we have plaques there honoring uh, aviation, aerospace, pioneers, and luminaries, you know, people like Howard Hughes and Donald Douglas and, and most recently Sir Richard Branson. Wow. And then the second part of the organization is the, the Learning Center and Museum, which is located in the Imperial Terminal at LAX. That's the former charter terminal on the south side of the airport. In 2002, the airport approached us because we are a 501c3 nonprofit community organization, and they said, we're having our 75th anniversary in 2003, and it'll be the 100th anniversary of the Wright Brothers flight, and we'd like to have a big party for that, wow. and uh, would you work with us to do that? So we've been in partnership with the airport now for, for many years, and it's been a very good partnership, and uh, so we run the, the museum. But, and But you're not part of the airport system? No, no. We are a separate 501c3 okay. nonprofit and we're we're run by volunteers like Agnes and Carly and myself. Okay, very cool. We have a bunch of pictures, uh, photographs that, that that we're going to be putting on the next segment, um, and then we're going to see more lively what, information yes. of what we are. But um, one of the things that um, that uh, I mean, it's I encourage everybody out there to go and see this because the collection of uniforms, the collection of uh, I mean, some airlines just don't exist anymore. The majority of them don't <laughs> exist anymore. We have very few that have survived all of this, and we have the memorabilia from over 66 airlines. One of the things that, that I, I catch when I go to the museum is that I remember that it used to be a fun experience to go on board an airplane. Today, people have gotten a little bit more blasé about it. I mean, I've actually been on a long, long flight sitting across somebody in their pajamas. And flip-flops and shorts. Yeah. Whereas in the past, we used to dress up. Right. It used to be like an event, an exciting adventure that you would get to go on an airplane. And today, it's almost seen as a commodity, as getting on a bus. Now... You are a psychologist, mm -hmm. so you're pretty much in tune with behavior. Do you find that this is the result of a bigger situation, more social, the, the, the loss of uh, excitement for many activities is based on what? Yes, well, there's the loss of excitement for aviation. There's the, the loss of excitement for lots of other things that we do in life. Like you said, we don't observe. We don't look at the beauty and the wonder and nature because we're so busy living to work. And so I think the people who really enjoy life are those that do it the other way around, like you. So you work, but you live. And outside of work, there is a life. So, and that's part of aviation. You know what? It's part of aviation, and it's part of life. And, and I think, you know what? I, I always tell people, chill. Roll back a little bit of the angst that you have and just let things flow, let things happen. Exactly. All right. We'll continue with this in just a little bit. We're going to take a little break, pay some bills. We'll be right back.
picture yourself and your loved one saying, I do, with a stunning sunset behind you and the sound of the waves gently lapping the shore. We can make that dream wedding come true. Ka'anapali Beach Hotel offers oceanfront and ocean view venues for a perfect backdrop to all your wedding memories. Choose from our wedding and vow renewal packages or let us customize a ceremony just for you. Call 661-0011 or visit ka'anapaliweddings.com and let us help you create that once-in-a-lifetime occasion. This is Dave Hull. My book, Hullabaloo, The Life and Misadventures of L.A. Radio Legend Dave Hull, that's me, is available now for $20. Call the Dave Hull Group at 760-320-4434, and your copy, including shipping and handling, is on the way. Read about my experiences with the Beatles during the filming of their second movie, Help, in the Bahamas. Out of 5,200 entries, Hullabaloo won the silver medal as the second best book of the year. To get your copy, call the Dave Hull Group, 760-320-4434. And your signed copy is on the way. That's 760-320-4434. Hurry before somebody else grabs up your 600-page leather-bound copy. That's 760-320-4434. Call now. Legendary food critic Meryl Schindler talks about the Hill Street Cafe in Burbank, California. The Hill Street Cafe in Burbank, California, 3301 North Glen Oaks Boulevard, open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And when I say breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I mean menus that give you everything you can possibly want. I'm looking at the dinner menu here. They got every sort of sandwich and salad. And not only do they have burgers and hot dogs, but they have burgers and hot dogs made with Beyond Meat and Beyond Sausage. They have a fitness menu. They have seafood. Your dining. It is a full service restaurant with a lot of, I should mention, very good beers and wines. And they have a back room that is semi private, fits up to 50 people. They offer delivery through Chow Now, Grubhub, Postmates, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. They allow filming at the restaurant as well. Parking lot is great, a lot over 60 spots. It's a terrific restaurant, and I love the fact that it's something for everybody. Hill Street Cafe, 3301 North Glen Oaks, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is sponsored by Humana. The Medicare Advantage and Prescription Drug annual enrollment period is here, running from October 15th through December 7th, and people with Medicare are reviewing their health insurance options for 2020. Choosing a Medicare plan for you or your loved one can seem overwhelming, so it's smart to understand your options. Jeffrey Fernandez of Humana. It is important to have all the information to choose the right Medicare plan. In addition to costs, be sure to take into account the network of doctors and hospitals. The list of medications that the Medicare prescription plan covers, changes to current plans, and differences between original Medicare and Medicare Advantage. This will help you choose the best plan for you and your loved ones. For more information, visit Medicare.gov or Humana.com slash Medicare or call a licensed sales agent at 1-800-213-213. 5286 from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. local time, seven days a week. All right, we are back and we are deep, deep, deep into the Flight Path Museum's history here. And um, can we show some of the photos, Mike? We're going to be showing you uh, some photos here and then uh, that. That's part of our space exploration gallery. Uh, we have a special exhibit for the Apollo at 50 program. Uh, of course, it's the, now been 50 years since uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin mm -hmm. had landed on the moon. And Buzz Aldrin recently was at our museum, as a matter of fact, okay. last year. Uh, that, that last picture you saw was our celebrity hall. We've had many celebrities come through LAX, and we have a, a very big collection of uh, famous celebrities who have uh, gone on and off of planes at LAX. The DC-3 that you see there is one that had been in commercial service and then with Union Oil Company. It's currently on loan to us from the California Science Center. Is, does, this, does it fly? No, it doesn't <laughs> fly. It hasn't flown since like 1982. So, okay, uh, all right. But uh, one of our, part of our speaker series, we actually had the pilot who flew that plane for Union Oil Company okay. back in the day. Um, 
Uh, another Does picture you had was inside our main gallery. We have um, special exhibits for the five airlines that moved from Burbank to LAX in 1946. And here you're seeing some pictures from our Flight Path Flyers program. We have these flight simulators and we teach young people how to, to fly. Some of them have gone on to go to ground school and taken okay. flight lessons, and one of them is now a pilot for American Eagle Airlines. Whoa, okay, all right. So who who educates? I mean, you have like airline We have here? actual, actual uh, rated flight instructors teach the courses. Okay. Um, we are going to be having a new set of classes this year for beginner and advanced. Um, we also have a, a very nice college scholarship program as okay. well. We gave out over $17,000 in scholarships this past October. And um, so we're always looking to add new scholarship opportunities to our museum. Who sponsors these scholarships? Um, Is it the museum? Uh, no, actually, it's funded by individuals that are associated with the museum. Okay. And the museum also, through its own fundraising, f funds the Pete Conrad scholarships. But uh, the, the son of our founder, Maury Plotkin, his son funds the Maury Plotkin right. scholarship. Uh, the Plotkin family funds that. Um, the Drawlinger family funds the Howard Drawlinger Scholarship. Howard was one of our earliest supporters for building the flight path, the uh, Walk of Fame. And then my family's also added one for, for Anton Ackerman. Whoa, okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff that, like I said, uh, I, I'm not going to be coy about it. I mean, like I, for one, feel of shame of the fact that I didn't really know enough well we uh, should uh, feel ashamed that we haven't done as good a job as we could in terms of reaching not only the metropolitan los angeles area but southern california and the world yeah i mean this this is something that i think that is so vital because regardless of what i mean pilots and people that are air crews, quality air crews, are not eternal. You know, they, we need recycling. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what best than to really have people who have a passion for what they do. And that is one of the things that, that uh, I see in many industries is not having enough passion for what it is that we do. Um, I own a travel company, and a lot of people you hear well, our passion is for service. Well, okay. Our passion is for this and any other. And yet, there's not enough people taking proper education on how to represent destinations. Exactly. So, and so that's why our mission is to reach the students when they're young and impressionable when they say, I want to be a fireman, yeah. I want to be a pilot. Yeah. If we can reach them at, at that age, we're going to create a pipeline of students that are going to come and appreciate what aviation and aerospace is all about. Aviation has always been something that is an automatic. I mean, as a kid, there's not a child anywhere out there that doesn't see an airplane go by in this like, uh, wow. you know. I was one of those that and I was fortunate enough to be able to carry it through. Many, many kids out there, they see the impossible. I mean, it, it's, it's always been expensive. It's, even at my, when I started, it was 15 bucks for an hour of flight. Then it was like, oh, God. Because we were making like a 90 cents an hour. Right. You know? So, but all now, right. Now there's huge opportunities to, to become a pilot and... Uh, so if young people are thinking about it, now is the time. Cool. Very cool. We'll talk about it more when we come back. And boy, fly, time is flying. It is. It's because it's a flight museum. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. Hi, everybody. This is Michael Horn. And you know, you've all helped build MyPillow into the amazing company it is today. Now, Michael Lindell, the inventor and CEO of MyPillow, wants to give back to my listeners. You can go to MyPillow.com right now and click on the new radio listener specials. You know, I use the MyPillow. I've got the mattress topper. I've got the Giza sheets. I'm sleeping so much better. And you can get deep discounts on all MyPillows, mattress toppers, bed sheets, and so much more. For example, they're bringing back the buy one, get one free offer for MyPillows. That's 
That's right. Buy one my pillow, get another my pillow absolutely free. Remember, all my pillow products come with a 60 day money back guarantee and a 10 year warranty. Go to mypillow.com, click on the new radio listener specials tab, and get deep discounts on all my pillow products, including the buy one, get one free for my pillows. Enter the promo code WINNER or call 800 513 3363 for the great radio specials. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Hi, everybody. Michael Horn along with Fred Dreyer here in the Sports Lounge. We look behind the scenes in the world of sports. Do we not, Fred Dreyer? We look behind and in front sometimes. Really? You yes. Check them both out and you can see everything there. This isn't your show for sports scores. This is the show about the politics of sports. We're not ripping and reading. We don't care about what the Phillies and the St. Louis Cardinals did in the third inning on a rainy day. Who cares? We're here to give you insight into a certain part of the sports world you don't normally see. Wednesdays at 4 on CRN. As a business owner, when was the last time you asked yourself if you have the right commercial insurance coverage? You need business insurance to protect everything you're building. One disaster without the right insurance could hurt your business, and larger deals you're trying to close may require that you have it. We recommend Cover Wallet for all your business insurance needs. In just two minutes, with their award-winning technology, they can offer you free competitive quotes from top insurance carriers nationwide. Cover Wallet is help tens of thousands of businesses, startups, restaurants, truckers, construction companies, landscaping companies, beauty salons, consultants, and they can help you. No business is too big or too small. And it's a free call to find out. Protect your business. Get the right insurance for your business. Call Cover Wallet right now. 800-220-7612. 800-220-7612. That's 800-220-7612. Come to Angelo's and Finchie's Restaurante to see memorabilia of movie stars and theatrical magic right in downtown Fullerton, California. The art of the great masters in an Italian town square complete with storefronts of old. Italian butchers and cheesemongers, fruit and wine vendors, seamstresses showing their wares. The romance of Romeo and Juliet. Find our mystical room of the moon and don't forget King Kong, Dracula, Frankenstein and who knows what awaits you in the wine cellar. Enjoy the great food. We hand stuff our pastas, roll each and every tortellini, bake our own bread and make all of our sauces fresh from our private stock of Sicilian family recipes. Pasta to seafood, chicken to award-winning pizzas, tiramisu flown in from Rome. If you can't find something on our menu to tempt you, you don't like Italian food. Try our Sunday brunch, all you can eat, just $21.95. And Angelo's and Vinci's has been named the best Italian restaurant in Orange County two years in a row, and our owner has been named Restaurant Tour of the Year. Angelo's and Vinci's, Fullerton, California, 714-879-4022 or angelosandvinci's.com. Enjoy Tiki Live, the best cable alternative choice today, with hundreds of premium live TV programming, including ESPN, CNN, Fox News, Disney, AMC, Bravo, XF, OWN, and CRN Talk. Plus, no contracts and low month-to-month service. Tiki Live, servicing North America, including the Caribbean. To get started, visit TikiLive.com to order hundreds of channels, including CRN Talk, at a fraction of what you're paying today. Visit TikiLive.com. That's T-I-K-I-L-I-V-E.com. All right, we are back, folks, and we said goodbye to Robert Ackerman a little while ago, and we say welcome to Carly Allen. Hello. How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm excited to be here. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, excited about seeing me or... uh, that's definitely number one. Yeah, well, you better you, yeah. you need to qualify these things <laughs> yeah. because you know I never know. You, know. <laughs> you are part of the board of the museum. Yes, I'm the marketing chair of the board of directors for the Flight Path Museum. All right, and you are also with a magazine. Yes, I'm the executive vice president and associate publisher of Global Traveler magazine. Tell me about the magazine. The magazine um, is geared towards the frequent and luxury business and leisure traveler for U.S. travelers. Uh, Talk about international destinations. And uh, most recently, we started talking about airport updates. So we just did one about LAX, and um, we're really focused on the people that love travel. So I think I fit right in. (laughs) Well, you know what? I mean, I, 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 I... Got a copy of the magazine. I was reading it. Great. And um, because I also happen to be in the travel business, mm-hmm. and uh, one of the things that I've always wanted to do, and I and I I encourage people to travel with my company, 
company is uh, Journeys by Silver Fox. And um, one of the things that I try to instill into the people is that it's not so much about getting on board a plane, falling asleep, and landing somewhere and start enjoying it. I think people need to start enjoying from the time they leave home. They mm -hmm. should have expectations and anxieties about the flight and uh, get to get to know people in, on board. I mean, there's people... One of the most interesting parts about flying to me has always been that you never know who you're sitting next to on board a plane. Absolutely. I've always had that thing. As a matter of fact... Um, I, I write scripts, and uh, I am working on a series right now that uh, I don't want to say too much, but it has to do with what goes on in a flight, mm. you know, and uh, because you never know. I mean, people can be going on a honeymoon, which is a happy occasion. People can be going somewhere because they're expecting to get a job. People can be going somewhere because there's a funeral. Mm -hmm. You never know. You never know. But the stories are there. They're so deep and they're so... Moving. You know, they, they, they need to be found and, and talked about. But, it, you know, um, I also find that in many cases in the travel business, it starts with travel agents not really putting the right food in front of the people mm -hmm. as far as expectations to travel yeah people decide well yeah it's an all-inclusive yeah, well. it's not a one-size-fits-all yeah it is a customized experience for every person i for one uh what i sell primarily is ecology you know eco eco-friendly eco tours tours and for me that includes getting to know from from the people on the flight you know you can ask the, the, the hostess, what is your name? I mean, I know they have it there, whatever, but you personalize yourself mm -hmm. into yes. the deal, you know? Don't make a nuisance of yourself because they're working. But you know what? I mean, you can actually start the journey into discovery by getting to know who you're sitting next to or who's behind you. Or, you know. I think it's up to the traveler to decide what kind of trip or experience they want to have. There's a few that will close themselves off. They have giant um, earphones on. They don't want to talk to people. Um, but if you do have the opportunity to talk to someone, I'll you know, I'm constantly going to the East Coast, and I will talk to someone for three and a half hours or like you know half the flight because you start telling you must start spilling secrets to people your entire life story that you will never see again i was just flying to mexico city and i met a gentleman he was super nice and i like shared my life story he did too and then we walked off the plane and never saw him again yeah but it's a really fun way to maybe uh learn about different people and cultures. Uh, this guy lived in Mexico City, so I asked for the uh, best restaurants and museums that I need to see. So you can make it fun if you tried. I do. I, I, like, I, I weep uncontrollably when I watch um, sad movies or even regular movies on airplanes. It's because there's like some sort of communal sense of emotion in the plane. It has to be. It, it does. Am I the only one yeah. that has that experience? <laughs> I guess no. so, the way you're looking at me. When I was a flight attendant, I did jump seat therapy. Takeoff, landing, all the flight attendants that I was sitting next to would tell me their personal stories and their problems, and I was supposed to cure it by the time we landed. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, you know what? I mean, the, the, today, flight attendants do something that is really funny because they bring, they're bringing comedy into... Fun. They're the, bringing the, fun the, back. They're yeah. putting fun back. Because, I mean, it's always been, you know, like... This is the way you put your seatbelt. You know, click. click. Mask comes down. Boom. I get it. You know, is that it's something that needs to be said. It's something that needs to be reminded because when stuff starts to happen, everybody forgets about it. Mm -hmm. You know. So anyway, so it's good to have. But to put that little spin, I think is so much fun. Put now, personality in it. Mm -hmm. Now, PSA, which is your alma mater. Yes. We had fun. Not only did you guys have fun, but the whole airline was fun. Yes. The funky colors, the smiley smiles face. Smiles on airplanes. Yes. Uh, the, the 
hot pants. Uniform, the hot pants, <laughs> the white boots. I yeah. mean, it was like something else, something really, really a lot of fun. Um, it, it got to the point where when PSA went down, it was like, oh, man. They swiped the smiles off of our airplanes. Yeah. yeah. And I we mean, were sad I, because I it was a family. It was a young group of people. Uh, we're based out of San Diego, and everybody knew everybody. So when we did have our accident in San Diego, it was really painful. Mm -hmm. um, but we were entering the big, you know, the big leagues. But uh, you know what I mean? The, 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 that went along with the, all of them, because I remember Alaska Airlines with the leather jackets and... Uh, the bomber jacket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So and it was, Southwest it with was, their um, khaki pants. Yeah, khaki pants and, uh, yeah, the short... No coats, short sleeves. I mean, you know, that's it. How much time do we have? 60 seconds. I got all kinds of time here. Oh, that's it, man. 30 seconds just went down the window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't we just take a little bit of a break in just a couple of seconds and um, we'll come right back. Hi everybody, this is Michael Horn, and you know, you've all helped build MyPillow into the amazing company it is today. Now, Mike Lindell, the inventor and CEO of MyPillow, wants to give back to my listeners. You can go to MyPillow.com right now and click on the new radio listener specials. You know, I use the MyPillow, I've got the mattress topper, I've got the Giza sheets, I'm sleeping so much better. And you can get deep discounts on all MyPillows, mattress toppers, bed sheets, and so much more. For example, they're bringing back the buy one, get one free offer for MyPillows, that's that's right. Buy one my pillow, get another my pillow absolutely free. Remember, all my pillow products come with a 60-day money back guarantee and a 10-year warranty. Go to mypillow.com, click on the new radio listener specials tab and get deep discounts on all my pillow products including the buy one get one free for my pillows. Enter the promo code WINNER or call 800-513-3363 for the great radio specials. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. This is sponsored by SK Life Science, Inc. More than 3 million people in the U.S. are affected by epilepsy, with 150,000 new cases reported each year. A new national survey called Seize the Truth About Epilepsy Perceptions revealed that 75% of patients agree that all they can do is accept their condition. Not only are patients affected physically, but the emotional, social, and financial consequences of epilepsy are equally as severe, with 58% of caregivers and 47% of patients having to take time off of work in the past year. The survey also revealed a wide range of challenges in the management of the disease, with a significant disconnect in conversations between healthcare professionals, caregivers, and patients. Danielle Becker, Physician, Penn Medicine. It is vital that patients and healthcare providers have an open and honest dialogue during office visits. The findings revealed that nearly half of patients surveyed admitted they don't share real-life goals with their doctors. Frank discussions are necessary in order to provide the patient with the best possible care. For more information, visit www.webmd.com forward slash epilepsy survey. Hi, this is Orly Lifestyle Buzz, and I'm here with Agnes and Carly from the Path Flight Path Museum. Tell me about the motto, okay. the, the new motto. Here. Our new motto for Flight Path Museum is glamour, adventure, romance, and excitement of aviation and aerospace. This is what we have lost, and this is what we stand for. Whether it's the glamour of the high heels and the beautiful uniforms that the flight attendants wore, the great suits that the pilots wore, or the memorabilia that just made flying special. When you were flying across the country and you were going to be reunited with the love of your life. Do you think that because you're also a professional um, psychologist, okay? I, for one, I'm old enough to wear, um, I have a very open mind about things. And to me, saying you're a beautiful woman doesn't mean that I'm picking you up. It no. just means that I find you beautiful and you find you beautiful. And it's not a sexist thing. I don't, I don't see it as that. But in many cases, 
especially for the flight attendants. You could not get a flight attendant in hot pants today no. to save anybody's soul. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we've made this decision that we can't be ourselves and we can't be human because we have to take everything into consideration and some things might be perceived as forward or as discriminatory and that's a problem because even teachers can't give a child a hug today yeah because they're going to be accused yeah yeah so I mean, it's it, the whole society i think needs to have a whole readjustment i in my younger years i belong to the playboy club and it's very true, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, beautiful women, the little ears, the whole thing. But I have to tell you one thing. It was, without a doubt, the most respectful place on earth. You did not go there to be rude, lewd, crude. It was know. an appreciation of beauty. It was, that's exactly what it was. Um, you used to p play pool with the bunnies and the whole thing and... You had conversations with these young ladies mm -hmm. that were like great. Were they beautiful? Absolutely. By the same token, there was a lot of good looking men there that went there, you know, young guys and try to strut their stuff in there. You know. It was a club. Right. It was a place to go have fun. All right. Um, that a lot of people felt that uh, the owner had a different concept or whatever. Maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't know. We never got to that level. Although I did visit the mansion many times because my daughter used to be part of the vet clinic that took care of the animals. Oh, the animals. You know, so, okay. anyway. <laughs> but uh, I was never invited to the grotto. Uh, no. What the heck? I, mean, <laughs> I, I did have my little string there, but uh, I couldn't get it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, no, the fact is is that one thing is one thing, the other is another. The clubs themselves were very nice, social, great food, great entertainment all the time. And when they closed, it was because people felt that women were being objects. I mean, you're ladies well i'm not a flight attendant so i probably can't speak to it as much but i know now especially with speaking different airlines they are trying to take an initiative to have more interesting um, uniforms built now they're designer mm -hmm. so they're trying to make it fun that way they're still pretty safe color wise um and how uh nothing's really showing and, and things like that so i think and also the probably the unions are a little bit more tough and if someone thinks it's too low um they're going to close up really fast so i think that the times have just changed in general it, it's, i think it just the, is. the times have changed but also there is no woman who is a flight attendant or not a flight attendant who doesn't appreciate a compliment honestly you Absolutely. know what and, as long as the compliment is is an honest observation yes. why not well, also, I think, and maybe you guys can speak to this, I mean, we're seeing so much travel internationally, too, so many different cultures, classes, and creeds, and so you have to kind of serve to more conservative cultures. Wouldn't that be correct? Yes, I think so. I think you have to be mindful of what their beliefs are and what they feel is appropriate and not appropriate. For example, Singapore Airlines still has the ladies in the sarong kabaya. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. They still have women that have to retire at age 30, Whereas in the United States and much of the world, women can work or flight attendants can work until they retire at 65. Right. Yeah, which right. will change what the, you feel comfortable wearing in a uniform. Right. If you look at Emirates, uh, one of the biggest airlines that's mm -hmm. out of the UAE, they look they're gorgeous. Uh, they look like models, but they do not have any kind of union that would stop that. So they're allowed to ve be very picky on who they're allowing on uh, to be flight attendants for their flights. They right. can, based on looks, say uh, you're not right or you're right for our See, airline, but, uh, which would many, not happen it, here. I think in many cases, though, where, where things are not regulated, people go like, you don't fit our, our image if you're past 35. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are they trying to sell? A good transportation system or a modeling runway at right, yeah. 40,000 feet? Well, hopefully safety's first, and right. then they'll do it. But I think definitely for U.S. carriers, safety's first, and then how you look is second, yeah. <laughs> which I think is fine. 
well, what can I say? Man, time is really flying by. Uh, why don't we take a little commercial here, a little break, and we'll come back, and I guess it's going to be closing time, right? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Buddy, Michael Horn from CRNTalk.com. You know, we provide you with the best in talk radio. Eight channels of talk radio from radio on the left, radio on the right, sports talk, business talk, religious talk, Spanish talk, you name it, we've got talk radio for you. All at CRNTalk.com. Well, now we'll bring you video as well as audio. That's right. Watch your favorite shows like the Robert Conrad Show, the Fred Dreyer Program, What's Cooking Today, What's Cooking on Wine, The Lounge, and so many other shows in video right at our website, crntalk.com. You can also watch us on Roku. Just search CRN Talk and you can watch us on Roku on any TV anywhere in the world. Also on Facebook Live. Go to Facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Roku, search CRN Talk. Check us out on Tiki Live and at CRNTalk.com. Video for you talk fans all from CRN Talk. Hi, everybody. This is Michael Horn. And you know, you've all helped build MyPillow into the amazing company it is today. Now, Michael Lindell, the inventor and CEO of MyPillow, wants to give back to my listeners. You can go to MyPillow.com right now and click on the new radio listener specials. You know, I use the MyPillow. I've got the mattress topper. I've got the Giza sheets. I'm sleeping so much better. And you can get deep discounts on all MyPillows, mattress toppers, bed sheets, and so much more. For example, they're bringing back the buy one, get one free offer for MyPillows. That's right. Buy one my pillow, get another my pillow absolutely free. Remember, all my pillow products come with a 60-day money back guarantee and a 10-year warranty. Go to mypillow.com, click on the new radio listener specials tab and get deep discounts on all my pillow products including the buy one get one free for my pillows. Enter the promo code WINNER or call 800-513-3363 for the great radio specials. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. CRN listeners, when you come to Southern California, stop by a great restaurant, the Dresden Restaurant at 1760 North Vermont Avenue in Hollywood. Enjoy great entertainment, like the music of the legendary Marty and Elaine at the world-famous Dresden Restaurant. The Dresden was a location for the making of the movie Swingers. Now you can swing with stars Marty and Elaine. Plus, enjoy great food, too, like French onion soup, artichoke hearts, and many other great appetizers. Seafood? There's salmon, shrimp scampi, New Zealand orange roughy, halibut, Lake Superior whitefish, and specialties like veal marsala piccata and parmigiana. Plus, we've got a great roast rack of lamb, chicken piccata, and cordon bleu, and pasta dishes, too. Steaks? Filet. New York, Chateaubriand for two. Much more, too, including pork chops, prime rib of beef, and an incredibly extra large cut of prime rib. It's the Dresden Restaurant, open for lunch Monday through Saturday and dinner Monday through Sunday. Check us out at 1760 North Vermont Avenue or call 323-665-4294. We are back, and sadly, this show is almost cooked. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Agnes, yes. parting thoughts. Well, I think one of the things that's coming up that we are very, very excited about is Smithsonian National Museum Day. Ooh. And this is an opportunity for anybody who goes to the Smithsonian website and they can download free tickets and they can go to a host of museums on April 4th, Ooh. 2020. And Flight Path is among those museums that are participating. And it's a must, yeah. And we're going to have a food truck. We're going to have kids activities. It's going to be a terrific day. So we, I encourage encourage everybody who's going to participate in Museum Day to please come and visit Flight Path. Well, there you go. Carly? Um, I would like to stress that we are a nonprofit organization, um, and we are really a community of volunteers, and we're always looking for more volunteers. So uh, please go to our website, flightpathmuseum.com, and see how you can apply to be um, a volunteer just for a few days or hours, um, special events that we have. Uh, We would love to help train you, show you around, become a docent. Um, We need more 
we love them. We would like some, maybe some younger people to try doing it. Or if you have someone that's a friend or uh, a parent that's recently retired, I think it's a really fun way to kind of develop and grow your community. So please uh, come join us. Where else can you find a museum that is on the tarmac of one of the world's largest yeah. airports yeah, and you can walk out there and see the DC-3 and take pictures on the tarmac. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, you know what? There is such an aura of mystery or like such a thing of grandeur when you actually walk out into a tarmac. Yes. Because today, anywhere you go, it doesn't matter. I mean, I remember going to Van Nuys. You could walk through mm -hmm. by the airplanes. Now as everything is fenced in, you cannot touch inside of an airport ground to save your soul. Yeah. From, so we are yeah. very, very special. Yeah. And we yeah. are so thankful that we have this partnership with LAWA and that it's beneficial for both of us and the community and the airlines. Okay. I recommend everybody to be active, to get active. Take a nice drive to Imperial Highway. Highway. And I mean seriously just take the 90 freeway till it ends on the imperial highway and turn right that's right and there you yes. are make tuesday right through saturday 10 a.m yeah. to 3 p.m it's, it's a wonderful experience take your kids mm -hmm. the kids will actually simply fall in love with this place and so will you i mean so the grown-ups will enjoy it more because there's a lot of stuff that you catch from all the display cases that you say Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an awe moment because you walk in there and you go like, Pan Am, I remember that, you know, because in today's world, you talk to so many people, they Pan Am. Mm -hmm. And when they had ashtrays, we have collections of matches. We have collections of um, playing cards that were given out. Now, where does all the stuff come from? Uh, we get them donated from people who have given them to us, and we also have a program where we are filling out our uniform collection, so we will go after uniforms that are that we don't have yet. Oh, wow. But this we is... welcome all donations Please. because um, that's, that's how we started, and that's how we continue to grow. All right. We are out of time, just about, and all I want to say is uh, I'm going to be posting all the information on our website at www.lifestylebuzz.com dot today and also at uh, www.journeysbysilverfox.com and at babyboomergen.com so we're going to give you as much coverage as we can possibly can Thank you. and uh, you're going to be excited of going to the place the, the museum is something wonderful I suggest that you need to go and I invite you all to see to go Okay. Thank you, Thank Brian. you Orlando. Join Thank you. Me. Appreciate it. Yes. Okay, everybody, remember, be kind, be nice, be yourselves. God bless.